Hi Native Scripters, Alex for Nuvius here. Native Script 2.5 is out today, and I wanted to do a quick video on upgrading Native Script and upgrading an existing project to Native Script 2.5. So right now, I'll do TNS version to check my version, and it's 2.4.2. That's what I have installed right now. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. I have a project here as well, float button test that I was just working on. And let's take a look here. So this is the package.json file for that project. As you can see, we have an iOS version 2.4.0 installed and an Android version 2.4.1. And our TNS core module is at 2.4.4. So all these should get upgraded when we're done. So the first step in upgrading is getting the new version of the CLI installed. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to execute sudo. If you're on Windows, you're just going to execute npm install native script dash g for global. All right, and that's going to pull down the new version of native script for me and install it globally on my machine. Do I want to visit documentation? No, I don't. Do I want to run the setup script? No. And no. Okay, I got some kind of permission denied error, but hopefully that's not going to stop me. Let's see what version we're at right now. Okay, so I'm on version 2.5.0, but it looks like I need to upgrade Node. So I have an old version of Node apparently here. And I get a little bit of a grace period. So I'm going to need to update that a little bit later. Okay, moving on. Now I want to update my project. I'm in the project directory already. So I'm going to run TNS update. I get the node version deprecation message again. And for now, I'm going to leave my node version alone. Okay, that's interesting. I got an error message that says could not update the project. So let's take a look at the package.json file. And yeah, we have all the old stuff still here. So let's go ahead and do it manually. I have this platforms folder. I'm going to need to remove that. And I have the node modules folder. I removed it. Now let's go here. I'm going to remove all these iOS and Android versions entries in my package.json file, and I'm going to remove the TNS core modules entry here. Okay, and I'm going to save this. Now let's go back to the command line and do TNS install. Okay, and it's done. Let's take a look. All right, let's reload this window. Nope, still not there. Well, let's try adding the platform. TNS platform add iOS. Looks like our platform was added. So as you can see, the package.json file was updated with a new version. Ah, I know what's going on here. So I deleted the core modules, but really I shouldn't have. You can't delete the core modules and expect it to work, right? So let's go ahead and run TNS install again. Platform iOS already added. But I believe that this will add the core modules for me. Let's reload. There they are. Now I'm going to do the TNS run iOS command. This is a new command that automatically starts the emulator for me. And it live syncs it. So if I make any changes, they'll be detected automatically and you'll see them in the emulator. Okay. And we're up on 2.5. This is great. Let's try the Android side. So here I am in the same directory, and I'm going to do TNS platform add Android. Oh, we got another error message. And it says that I need to have Android 25.0.2 or greater. So it looks like I'm going to need to update my Android SDK build tools also. So I don't have 25.0.2 of build tools installed. I'm going to need to go ahead and grab that. I'm going to install eight packages and delete two packages. This is probably going to take a little bit of time to do. So while it's installing, I'm going to pause the video. And we're back. Looks like we're done installing. Wow, that was a while. But patience pays off. Let's take a look here. I want to go ahead and add the TNS platform again. And let's see what happens. Fail to retrieve data from NPM. Hmm. The plugin TNS Android is already installed. Well, that's interesting. I didn't install a plugin yet. What is this? This is strange. Looks like it put a plugin here under my dependencies. Uh, I'm going to delete that and let's try this one more time. TNS platform add Android. Project successfully created. Let's see. Okay, so this time it didn't add it here. 
it did add it over here which is great that's what I want to see and now I'm gonna run it in an Android emulator so I'm using Jenny motion as my emulator I'm gonna start up a device and I really hope that it detects my Jenny motion device I haven't tried this yet okay my device started up and I'm supposed to just be able to say TNS run Android and it's supposed to detect everything automatically and start up let's see oh I see something this is good my app is up and running and everything seems to be working excellent so I have iOS and Android running in NativeScript 2.5 and that's upgrading to the latest version of NativeScript 2.5. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.